All right, guys, Camden, North Florida Cichlids here. Got these two guys in the hospital tank. You can see their bellies are sunken in. They're not eating. I, um, you catch them moving their mouth. I just dropped some food in there. It just now sunk. Let's see if I can show you that they're not eating it. Drop like three pellets. I'm pretty sure they're not going to eat them. I don't want them to waste in there. Not even paying them any attention. But they weren't eating in the main tank. Everybody's going to say, oh, they're in a smaller tank. They're stressed. They're not going to eat now. They weren't eating in the main tank. I, um, I've soaked their food. They just pick it up, spit it back out. This is what they both do. I, um, I soak their food in metronidazole, metronidazole, however you want to pronounce it, and Epsom salt, and, you know, most fish, that's a little icky tasting. They're not going to eat it. So I um, even add a little garlic, try to entice them to eat it with the metro and the Epsom in it to try to flush some of the parasites and everything out. So you just spit it right back up. And by them picking it up, spitting it back out, if this is in your tank, in your main display, he picks it up, spits it out, another fish swoops by, grabs it, you're transferring the parasite. We all know fish, I'm not going to say eat the poo, but they'll put the poo in their mouth and they'll spit it back out when they realize what it is. It's another way you're transferring the parasite throughout your tank. But back to the topic here. They're not eating food. They're not eating the food when I soak it in um, Epsom salt. And uh, you can use API General Cure. I'm just using straight metronidazole. But uh, I'll put a link to Conway Stevens' video. He touches more, more and more on the specifics that I'm going to in this video um, on how to make a 3% magnesium sulfate solution to soak your food in, which is fairly simple. It's two cups of tank water with two tablespoons of Epsom salt. Use tank water, that way it's dechlorinated, don't use faucet water. Two cups tank water, two tablespoons of Epsom salt, not aquarium salt, there's a difference, Epsom salt. Stir it up till it gets good and dissolved, and then add about a half packet of API General Cure to the mix, let it get good and dissolved. Pour a little bit of the, um, I use garlic guard, I see Kim pour a little bit of the garlic guard in there. The flavor helps entice them to eat the food if they're not already eating. Let that soak for 30 minutes. Once that soaks, drop it in the tank and let them eat it. See, so picked up another one and just rumbles it around and spits it out. But if they still won't eat it after you soaked it with the garlic and everything, then you you only got about one method you can resort to, and that's the method of using a pipette. Now, I don't recommend this to anybody that's going to be fidgety and scared to do it. These things are very soft, flexible. They're not going to hurt your fish as long as you take precaution, do the research. All right, guys. Sorry, my phone got full there. I had to um, delete a couple of things. But like I was saying, if they're not eating their food, you know, nine times, no, I won't say nine times out of ten, you know, to properly identify your problem, but... I'm going for internal parasites. Again, I'll, I'll link Conway Stevens' video down below. Fully watch his video beginning to end. Extremely overly informational. But <clears throat> Epsom salt, two cups tank water, and two tablespoons of Epsom salt. Soak the Epsom salt, half packet of API General Cure, stir it together, let it all get good and dissolved. A little bit of garlic guard. Flavor usually entices them to eat it. And take your food, soak your food in the in the Epsom salt API and garlic guard solution. Soak it for 30 minutes. Feed it to your fish. If they're eating it, that with, with the with a general cure and the Epsom salt, it's going to help pass the parasite. If they're not eating it, then it's more or less inevitable that they're not going to make it very long. So, like I was mentioning, you got to inject the solution, which I've already got made up here. 
directly into them. This is the, the two cups tank water, two tablespoons of Epsom salt, Epsom, not aquarium salt, Epsom salt. Two cups tank water, two tablespoons Epsom salt, and a half packet of API General Cure. That's the solution I've already got made here. Let this get good and dissolved up. You're gonna get you get your pipette full. Make sure your tip doesn't have any air in it. See if something comes straight out, no air. You don't want to inject air into their bellies. But I'm gonna take one of the guys out here and um give it a shot at showing y'all how I go about doing it. This is I've done this quite a few times now, but um I'm gonna give y'all a, a view on how I do it here and my pointers on how I don't put it too far in, and but make sure it's far enough, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. I'll be back here in a minute, guys. All right, now I'm going to be quick about this, guys. My hands are wet, so I don't take anything off of him, any of his slime. I, I take it. You want to, I always measure. You want to get it past the gills. If you don't get it past the gills, the fluid is just going to come out. And when you, when you push it in, you want to make sure that you don't suck it back out. You don't want to get any air in him either. Get this camera to focus a little better here. Anyway, I measure about how far I need to go in to get it at least to his fin here, past his gills. There's markings on the side of these pipettes. I see that I need to get to right about the mark here. So real quickly, some in there. Now some of these pipettes come in smaller sizes. I know this might look bad, but it's this, so let him just pass on his own. Gently get it to that point to where you know it's past the gills based upon where you measured it and squeeze it in him. Let's get him back in the tank. See, he's, he's good. That's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, don't touch a fish with dry hands. Make sure your hands are wet. You don't want to take off any other slime coat. That stuff's very, very important to them. But just fill it up. Like I said, if you don't get it past the gills, it's pointless. This is going to pour out of his gills. Make sure you don't have any air in this at all. You don't want to push air into the bellies. That injects the solution directly into them, helps flush the parasites out, and hopefully it'll get them back eating regularly, continue to soak their food and the solution. Whenever you're injecting it into them, don't put the you don't there's no need to put the garlic guard in. The garlic guard's only use is for flavor is to entice them to eat it. So if you make the solution, soak it with the garlic guard in it and they don't eat, make the solution again. No garlic guard, inject it directly into them, help pass the internal parasites, and then continue trying the solution with the garlic guard and try to get them to eat the food again. Anyway, guys, I hope this is any kind of help to anybody. Anything you might have seen that could have been tweaked here or you have a difference of opinion without being too negative about being brutal to fish because this is all in helping the fish, as brutal as it may visually seem to some. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, guys. Share my video. Camden Day with North Florida Cichlids. Thank y'all. All right. This is about an hour or so after I treated them. I soaked some more food. My Eukylus just ate about three pellets. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get him to eat another one here. I don't want to cut the lights on and spook them. Sitting there. My OB hasn't paid attention to anything. Actually, just ate one off the corner right there. I'm going to grab another one.
There we go. See? Oh no, come on now. You know I'm recording you so you're going to show out. behind the sponge and eat it, huh? Anyway, I did see him eat like two or three before I did this video. So at least it is <clears throat> making some sort of progress in regards to at least getting them to gain a little bit of appetite back. I'll continue to soak their food with the garlic and everything in it. And um, I might redo the pipette on them again here in a couple days. But at least I'm seeing, you know, small things to the positive manner so hopefully I can get these guys back in health and get them back in the main display alright guys I'm out of here